Hi, I'm attorney Mark Lazarus with the Law Offices of Russell and Lazarus. When you've been injured in an accident and you need help, we're here to help. Lately, because of the rise in gas prices, motorcyclists have been appearing more and more on freeways. A lot of times these motorcyclists are new to the road and are not as well trained. So there's some things that you need to know whether you are a motorcyclist or driving near a motorcyclist when out there on the road. First, lane splitting is a big question. In California, vehicle code section 21658.1 permits the splitting of lanes by a motorcycle with some limitations. It must be done safely. It also should be no more than 10 miles an hour faster than the traffic around. Also, lane splitting should not be done at a speed of greater than 30 miles per hour. The higher the speed, the greater the possibility of an injury. Know that when someone is turning a motorcycle, they're oftentimes going to turn in the opposite direction first in order to bring the vehicle around the other side. If you've ever ridden a bicycle, you'll notice that you don't just turn one way. You first turn and lean into the turn in the opposite direction, allowing yourself and the vehicle to move over and move smoothly towards the direction of travel. This means that motorcycles are going to take a little bit more space when changing directions. Be aware of that possibility that a motorcycle may go out of its normal path in order to effectuate a safe turn. Also know that when motorcycles are stopping, depending on how many brakes they use, it may take different amount of time to stop. Using just a front brake, a motorcycle is going to take more time to slow down than if it uses both its front and back brake. For example, using a rear brake only, a motorcycle going about 40 miles an hour will take roughly 200 feet to stop. Whereas a motorcycle going the same speed using both the front and rear brake will take almost a third of that space or about 75 feet to stop. So motorcyclists who are out there need to be able to judge whether they should use one brake or two brake in order to avoid coming into contact with something ahead of them. Motorcycle safety gear is extremely important. When riding a motorcycle, one should always make sure that they have helmet, gloves, and heavy jackets. To know a motorcycle helmet is safe, always look for DOT or Department of Transportation on the motorcycle helmet to verify that it complies with federal safety standards. That will help to avoid certain types of injuries. Know that when people are on the road, they're not paying as close of attention. So when you are a motorcyclist, always anticipate that the other driver may be distracted. This is defensive driving. It can help you to avoid being struck by a vehicle. Always be on the lookout for other cars. If you've been injured in a motorcycle accident, please give us a call. Russell and Lazarus, 949-309-0990. Thank you.